Welcome back to New York, gamers. I was beyond excited when the announcement of the open beta spread through the internet, even more so when I learned they plan to expand the beta experience with content and some updates. This video is going to be focused more on the changes that were added and how I felt they affected the experience compared to the closed beta. Among the changes was an addition to your headquarters, a new mission, as well as changes to the dark zone that we'll get into. As far as the basic experience of handling the weapons and player movement, it felt smoother. This might have just been me being more comfortable with the game than I was last time. Duh, you played it before, moron. Hit detection on enemies seemed to be more accurate than last time. Game is still good. Yay! The new mission has you working to rescue the last member of a team that has gone underground to reactivate New York's power grid. During this mission, you crawl your way through an abandoned underground construction project while fighting off a faction known as the Cleaners. Cleaners are a gang who walk around with flamethrowers torching dead bodies to help avoid further spread of the virus. Unfortunately, they also go around torching people who are still alive as well, which is not so nice. What is nice is that you can shoot the gas tanks on the backs of these flamethrower units and wait for them to turn into a ground-based pyrotechnic. The mission introduces some new enemies in a really cool new environment. The boss fight was much tougher than the first mission they introduced, which was good since I mentioned before that I was worried the boss encounters weren't hard enough. I think that as the game progresses, the bosses will be quite the challenge. An agent on your team requires After completing the mission, you gain access to your tech wing in your headquarters. This allows for the use of the deployable turret. It's a fun little turret you can throw or place on your cover and use to spray death at nearby enemies. Even though this was the only new ability they added, with just one more thing added, it allowed for deeper tactics when playing with groups as you can mix and match for the greatest effect. It really just got me excited for the full game, when players will fill much more specified roles with how they upgrade themselves. Now, let's move on to talking about the Dark Zone. In my last video, I expressed some frustrations with the mechanics, as well as what I felt was inconsistency with the Rogue Agent system. Since then, the developers added way, way, way more enemy AI presence in the DZ. You can barely go around a corner without bumping into either AI or other players, and that's the way it should be. The addition of so much AI really shifts the priority in a lot of firefights since they typically outnumber the players. They've also made exploring more rewarding. Now instead of going down into an abandoned subway and finding a single chest with one or two things that maybe you can't even open, now you find a mini-boss, his friends, along with multiple chests filled with a lot of goodies. I also love now that when you signal for an extraction, the AI will sometimes just rush the extraction zone. It raises the stakes for exaction even more than before. Didn't think that was possible. An increase in drop rates, as well as making Dark Zone chests more available, made getting loot much easier, which made you feel less terrible when you occasionally would lose it all to other players. I had a much better experience this time in the Dark Zone. Even when I did experience some bullshit, I had already taken so much loot out that same day, it didn't phase me if I lost some. Even though there are only a few additions to this open beta, it felt like a totally different experience from the closed one. I loved it. If such small things only make the game feel better, I can only imagine how good the full game will feel with the entire host of weapons, crafting, ability, and talents at our disposal. For now though, I will go into withdrawal, I'll see you agents out there then. Game on.